Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I'll take it, I'll take it. We just wanna welcome you to our 25th, 25th Christmas cantata. Come on, everybody, give God some praise. Give God some praise. It is an honor and a privilege for you to have graced us with your presence today. We just wanna thank you for being here. We wanna welcome you to Miracle City, to all of our members, welcome to all of our family, friends, coworkers. Thank you so much for coming. We wanna thank God for all those who are watching around the world. This final Christmas cantata and what God has done, he has done so well. So we just wanna praise God and thank him for everything he continues to do. Can I ask you to just stand on your feet at this moment? We're gonna open with prayer today. We're gonna, to, and after we finish praying, I would ask that you be seated. And we're gonna see a short video and it's gonna talk about the history of this illustrious choir. And it's gonna have a message from a former pastor and it's gonna have a message from our current pastor. So let's bow our heads for prayer. Loving God, our Father, we want to bless you and thank you for this beautiful Sabbath day. God, everything you choose to do, you do so well. You woke us up this morning and you provided everything that we needed and you got us here safely. And we say to you, be all the glory. Now, God, we are about to worship you and we want to ask that everything that takes place today will you sprinkle it with your holy spirit that it may bring glory and honor to your name we ask for the forgiveness of known sin in our lives the sin that we know of and the sin we don't know of because we don't want anything to prohibit us from hearing what the Spirit of the Lord is saying at this moment. We are still in awe and in wonder of this Christmas story. And so while today we won't hear a sermon, Lord God, the sermon will be done in song. So we open our hearts to hear what is being sung, that it may draw us closer to you, Lord God, because we know you are soon to come and we want to be saved when you are seen coming in the clouds of glory. So bless everything that takes part today. Bless everything that it may be a blessing to not only us, but to you, Father. We love you. We appreciate you. We adore you and we magnify you. We exalt you in this place. And we say thank you, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated, and now turn your attention to the screens. City Church is celebrating its 25th silver anniversary year of the Christmas Cantata under the expert professional care and guidance of Dr. Eric Conway. The Sanctuary Choir and Orchestra has performed a melody of songs telling the story of Christmas which has ministered to and enriched the lives of so many in the community. The original idea for a Sanctuary Choir arose in 1995 at the Old Miracle Temple Church on Fulton and Lombard. Upon the sudden departure of the pastor, Elder Beverly Miles, the first elder, led the church until a new pastor arrived. Out of the need to support Elder Miles during worship service, Elder Cedric George approached Sister Ethelyn Sewell 
about leading a choir. Some of the earliest members of the choir were family members of both elders, Angela, Melody, and Faith Miles, and Cedric, Marjorie, Charmaine, Louise, and Darren George. The choir ministered regularly on Sabbath mornings at special occasions. The first Christmas cantata was proposed in response to a desire to usher in the holidays with the community through carols. However, the church was in a very rough neighborhood in Baltimore, and going door to door caroling was considered unsafe. The idea was to put on a ministry program that would invite members of the surrounding community to the church. The cantata was always seen as Miracle's major evangelism and outreach ministry of the year. Since its earliest days, attendance and Miracle doubled on that day. When Pastor Russell arrived, he saw the need to have a professional musician and Dr. Conway came aboard to direct the Sanctuary Choir in May 1996. The second cantata again consisted of Christmas carols with Dr. Conway adding the song Bethlehem. The first formal cantata was How Great Our Joy in 97 with narration by Pastor Russell and his wife, Brenda. Members of that inaugural group consisted of Dr. Conway's wife, Bessie Conway, as the pianist, the Miles and George families, Ethelyn Sewell, Romana Frayling, Gertrude Brown, Nadia Makala, Pamela Stoner, Lucille Cush, Jesse Ruffin, Ruth Green, Tavasina Timpson, Charlene King, Carol Nathan, Gloria Smith, Junelle Williams, Doreen Brown, Denise Jones, Gary Jones, Hubert King, Dexter Phillip, and William Brown. In 2005, after the untimely death of Sister Carol Moore's father, she and her sister Daria decided to donate a large sum of money to the church to bring in a live orchestra. The first cantata with orchestral performance was magnified a soulful Christmas with Dr. Conway expertly conducting. It made a profound impact. In the years since the Sanctuary Choir with Orchestra has done 12 distinctively unique cantata performances, often with guest appearances by such renowned musical artists as Whitney Phipps, Larnell Harris, Duane Starling, Denise Barkley, and Paul Heflin, as well as exceptional talent from the Morgan State University Gospel Choir. While 2019 marks the 25th and final year of the cantata, its uplifting seasonal message with beautiful music is something we will always remember and be blessed by. We honor its legacy of hope and goodwill as we enter this Christmas holiday. Good morning, Miracle City Church, and to your amazing pastor, uh, David Franklin. I'm taping this on Thanksgiving Day, and I'm so thankful for friends and family and for you but I'm also thankful for the fact that the Miracle City Church uh, has experienced for 25 years of uh, the annual Christmas cantata uh, from Fulton and Lombard with uh, the initial director, Sister Evelyn Sewell, to all the way uh, to Eric Conway. Uh, the choir has mastered uh, the ministry each season, uh, ministering to the entire Baltimore, Washington uh, metropolitan area. I understand that this is the sunset year uh, for the cantata, uh, but it would truly be missed uh, because the impact of this ministry has been sustained throughout this quarter of a, of a century. I praise God for every choir member who has served over the years. Uh, many are still living, some have passed on, and some of you were in the choir from the original start of the cantata. And so I celebrate again with this congregation 25 years of Christmas ministry from the cantata choir and I wish you the best as you look at what the future looks like uh, with Christmas celebrations, but it would never be lost in any of us. How impactful, how special it was for 25 years of the Christmas Madonna held annually at the Miracle Temple and now Miracle City Church. Merry Christmas to all of you. God bless you as you move into this brand new year that's just before us. God bless. Hey Miracle, it's your pastor. What a tremendous day this is. 25 years of our annual Christmas cantata. This truly, truly is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Listen, I'm elated and excited to see how God has led this ministry to shed light 
on the miraculous life of Jesus over these 25 years, you know, the mark of any great ministry is that it brings glory to God. And that is exactly what the Christmas cantata has done. It has impacted lives. It has restored hope. It's inspired joy. It's brought people back to church who had said they would never step a foot in church. And so we give God praise for this ministry and for the great sacrifice that many have made over this 25-year journey. There are those who have invested personally and financially, uh, those who have come from all over the DMV. In fact, Miracle, we can't truly claim this as our cantata alone because we have had choir members from all over the DMV come and participate in this annual event. And so we give God praise for what he has done. We give God praise for those who've made sacrifices. We give God praise for the lives that have been changed as a result. And we give God praise for 25 years of bringing glory to the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He still is the reason for the season. And this Christmas cantata has done a phenomenal job at bringing attention to the life of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so I'm looking forward to the day. This may be our finale down here, but I'm looking forward to the day when we will continue to sing around the throne of Jesus along with the angels, and we will cry holy and hosanna to the Lord our God. And I want you to be there. And so I want to make sure that you do one thing today. Please do not forget to do this. In all of the singing, in all the celebration, in all of the awe of the artistry and the music, please do not forget to make your calling and election sure today. Make sure that you're going to be on the sea of glass where we are able to continue this wonderful celebration of all that Jesus has done in our lives. May God bless all of you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to participate in the cantata over these last five weeks. I believe in this ministry, and I believe what God has done has been spectacular and special, and this truly is a special moment. May God bless you and keep you, and may this 25 years be written down in heaven as a legacy and as a journey that has transformed lives. God bless.
Wise man. 
Good afternoon, church. Have you enjoyed yourself thus far? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm certainly happy that you're enjoying yourself. And so this is the portion of the service where you get to participate. And I know that sounds like a cliche, but this is indeed the Christmas season. And it's a time for gift and giving. We give to our loved ones. We give to our family. We give to our, our friends. So why not give to our God and Savior? He deserves it, does he not? Amen, amen. So here at Miracle City, we don't give out of a sense of obligation. We don't. We give out of a sense of generosity. But we know that God has been good to us. Has God been good to you? Has God truly been good to you? Now, if you've had any doubts about how good God has been, just breathe in and out. As they say in the army, take a deep breath, let it out. <laughs> and then you know that God's blessing is truly upon your life if you are alive today. We cannot count these days as promised. We are, we are very blessed to be here in 2019, to be at this point of our lives. And so as we consider our gifts, as our deacons are standing to lift up this morning's tithes and offering, I want you to understand that, that we are a Seventh-day Adventist congregation. And so therefore we tithe, we believe in tithing. And the tithe is used to return to support our worldwide ministry of a worldwide church. We support the uh, church planting and we support universities and hospitals and disaster relief all over the world. But it is your local offering. What did I say? Your local offering. That means that the offering that stays here that supports the ministry that you see today. The cantata, our children, our youth, and our outreach. Many of you are already familiar with, with some of the outreach that we have done here in the city of Baltimore. We have a community baby shower in which we give out over 600 diapers to, to, to so many families throughout the city of Baltimore. And they come not just from Baltimore, they come all over from all over the, the DMV area. And so we're very proud of our outreach. But that doesn't happen unless you give, unless you support. We exist so that people will experience the miracle of life in Jesus Christ. That's our mission. That's our purpose. And if you want to be a part of that purpose, and I believe you do, then you want to consider how you are going to give generously. And so this morning, as we're about to lift up this morning's tithe and offering, oh, wait, wait, I forgot one thing. This year, at the end of the year, because it is the end of the year, we, have, we always have a giving campaign. And this year's giving campaign is called Never Settle. Never Settle. Now, you wonder, what, what, why did they pick that, that name, Never Settle? Well, God never settles on you. God wants his very best for you. And so out of response to how God expects and wants so much for us, we should have a desire to give God our best. And so we haven't given any of you a goal to, to, to meet this goal. Our goal is $100,000. Now, what are we going to use $100,000 for? Well, I, I'd imagine many of you could figure that out. If, you know, if you had $100,000 in your, in your pocket, what you would do with it. But no, we are furthering God's kingdom. And so next year to jumpstart 2020, what we intend to do is that we have youth and children and, and infrastructure to support those ministries that we really want to get a jump start on. And so we are appealing to you out of response for your love for Jesus for our Never Settle campaign. Over and above your, your tithe and your offering. Over and above your tithe and your offering. And so as we're preparing to give, um, I want to, to leave you with this thought. Jesus came down over 2,000 years ago, and he came down as a baby boy, wrapped in human form, in human flesh. Now, we think about that. That is a strange way to save the world. And as our children come up and, and sing that song, A Strange Way to save, that, to save the World, I want you to truly reflect on, upon how good God has been to you. 
and how good he will continue to be for you in 2020. And so as our deacons are about to lift up this morning's tithe and offering, just reflect on just how good he has been. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we are thankful, God, that you are a God who has all things in your hands. And so, Lord, this morning, we're praying, God, that those who are giving, that you are blessed it for the furthering of your kingdom. Lord, we want to give you of our best. And so, God, we ask that whatever we give, no matter how small, how large, Lord, we pray that it will be pleasing in your sight that you indeed see it as the widow's might, that we gave all that we can because we put all of our trust in you. But in all things, God, regardless of what we do, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. For it's in Jesus' name, let the church say, Amen. Amen.
he laid down his royal crown as the angels watched that night. He came all this way with arms open wide all the way from glory to give up our One quick thing for my husband, I'm Carol Moore now. <laughs> He's here, so I gotta correct that. <laughs> um, what a pleasure, what a blessing. I am so full, I'm trying not to ball out in front of you, <laughs> but um, thank you. Just really quickly this morning, just so we can keep everything going, there are some people who have just been amazing and we just wanted to stop and just quickly acknowledge them. So when I call your name, I know you don't wanna come because that's those type of people are like that, but get on down here real quick so we can bless you and we can get on with everything. Thank you, ladies. Um, um, this person, you never hear from them necessarily, well, not never, but 
You rarely hear from them, but you always hear them because they keep our beat. And that would be Mr. Jarek Jeffers. And just, just so you can see it, this is what each person will receive. It, just, it says their name and that it's from Miracle City in recognition of your dedication to the Sanctuary Choirs and their 25th year, 25th anniversary. Oh. Um, and next, I think I caught a peep of her, and she has been super, super, super dedicated to the choir. Um, we all saw the stories, but uh, Sister Charmaine Jackson, if you could come on down. <laughs> We couldn't have done it without you. Come on. <laughs> we thank you so much. Um, she is not here, but her daughter is. So if her daughter can start making her way, this is the first person to get it all started, and that would be Sister Ethelyn Sewell. So if Angela, you could... Uh, Come and get this for your mom. And did it, we did it that way on purpose because the next one is for Angela. She may not have come if it was just for her, but you kept it together for years and years. So I'm going to get in trouble, but I'm going to do it anyway, because they deserve it. Dr. Thomas Freeman. <laughs> you can do better than that, I think. I, I had to tell him a fib. He kept asking me, how many people? I said, five. It's actually six, and he's number six, so. <laughs> Love you. Love you. Thank you. Um, and last but not least, I, I'm really hoping y'all tear this place up when I say this name. We definitely could not have done any of this without one Dr. Eric Conway. <laughs> You are our first and favorite unofficial member. Thank you so much. Just sitting there slow sometimes. Christmas, mas, in Espanol means what more? This is a season about learning more about who? Christ. Christ Christmas. Last night I was at the Meyer Hall place. I gotta say, Minister Cece Wines. Oh, she was so. And she talked, she has a new CD called Something Happy. Well, you know, on that, oh, that holy night. The world was, it will never be the same when God gave his only begotten son to mankind so that we might have everlasting life, salvation. Let me say, I hope you have accepted Christ in your life. I read somewhere where, where Delayed obedience is what? Disobedience. Jesus could come tonight. Would you be ready? 
the first time we did Midnight Cry, I said, this is not a Christmas piece, but it's, it's, it's brilliant. You know, this is the season, of course, celebrating Christ and, of course, his birth. But guess what? He's coming back. Yeah. It says in Revelation that he's going to be back. We know not the hour, the day nor the hour. Will you be ready? There's no peace that connects the birth and the second coming like midnight cry. It could be in the night. Are you going to be ready? Yes, it's been our custom at Miracle Temple, Miracle City, to sing this as our finale. For you not to truly, fully not forget the reason for the season. Amen. Jesus Christ.
Thank you, each and every one of you, for helping us celebrate 25 years of inaugurating Christ at Christmas. Uh, but we would be remiss. I'm not going to take too much of your time. I think Brother Dr. Evangelist Conway said it best for us uh, this afternoon. But we always give the opportunity for someone who needs to experience Christ to come to him. You know, uh, uh, this past week, uh, we funeralized one of our own, Tracy Sims Jones. Uh, she was a deaconess here at Miracle City, uh, very dear to us. You, in fact, two of our choir members, Naja and Tamara Scott, family members, they are, they are uh, serving with us this afternoon as well. And I'm just reminded that we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Every moment, every opportunity we have to get right with the Lord, we should take advantage of it. Amen. Surely he did come all this way Amen. to make our hearts his home. Yes, he did. And the kids sang about it. Indeed, it was a strange way to save the world, but an effective one. Amen. So with that being said, if 
you would like this opportunity to make Lord, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, home, uh, grant him access to your life and everything, we want to pray right now. And you can say this prayer out loud. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus thank you for saving a sinner like me. It is only by your grace that I am here. I give my life to you right now. And I invite you into my life forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And now if you do want to become a member of this church, uh, we've already listed a lot of the things that we're doing. We get involved with our children and our youth, the, the outreach here, or you just want to be plugged in and connected to what we're doing. Our ushers do have connection cards where you can leave your information with us, in which we can follow up with you to bring you into this fold, into this con great congregation. But with that being said, again, thank you for coming out this afternoon. We hope that uh, we did justice to this legacy of 25 years. <laughs> to our illustrious choir director, Dr. Conway, thank you for your commitment. Thank you for your steadfast love for this ministry. To our orchestra, we couldn't have done this without you guys. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. To the Sanctuary Choir, thank you for your dedication, the rehearsals, the commitment to providing excellence. Uh, our children, our children, we can't forget our children. Love you guys. Continue to let Jesus use you in a mighty way. And even to the leaders, Fiona and Kim, raise your hands. Yeah. Give it yeah. a little bit higher than that. <laughs> For giving direction where direction is needed. But with that being said, we're going to close with benediction if we could all stand. Uh, we would also like to take the opportunity to invite you next week. Our pastor, he's currently away in Africa. He will continue to be. However, we do have somebody who will be bringing a word. Pastor Laurent Grosner will be here with us next week. So we do invite you back if this is your first time here. In addition to that, uh, 2020 is coming. Yeah. And as is tradition here, we will be having service that starts at 6 p.m. Uh, that Tuesday, Tuesday uh, after evening. Uh, so we do invite you here for that to celebrate with us in the coming of a new year. That being said, let us look to the Lord for our benediction. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you for all that you've done. This is your work. This is something that you provided for us. We could not have done this in and of ourselves. We thank you for your spirit and guidance, understanding, wisdom, joy, love, and peace. Now, I do pray that we do make this season where uh, Christ is lifted high because that is the only name by men can be saved by Lord God and be with us in our travel if we're leaving and going to a different state or country through these holiday seasons be with us and may we carry the spirit of the holidays wherever we go we love you and thank you for everything that you've done for us we pray this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus let everybody say Amen. God bless you. Happy holidays. We'll see you next week. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I pray that you were blessed by this message. We'd love to connect with you beyond this moment. So I wanna invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, you'll get updates on when a new sermon is posted as well as when we go live during our worship experiences uh, on Saturdays at 12 p.m. Uh, also, you can connect with us on social media. You can go to Facebook or Instagram and look for Miracle City Church. And on Twitter, you can find us at Miracle City 
life. We really do believe that God's doing something special in this congregation and in this family. And we're so blessed that you've chosen um, to connect with us. And if you've been blessed and you want to be a blessing, we invite you to go to our website. You can find all the information for giving there by going to miraclecitychurch.org slash give. And we know the Lord will bless you for your generosity. Thanks so much for being part of what God is doing here. And we pray many blessings on your life.